there is an activity in which you need to take a potato and observe its surface what do you see we can see there are notches or birds on it okay then you have to cut the potato in small pieces in such a way that some pieces contain a notch or bird and some do not contain then we have to spread some cotton on a tray and we have to wet it with water and then place the potato pieces on that cotton note where the pieces with the birds are placed that you have to remember where you have kept the pieces of potato which have the birds then observe the changes taking place in these potato pieces over the next few days make sure that the cotton is kept moistened that cotton should be moistured always which are the potato pieces that gives rise to fresh green shoots and roots so when you observe the changes of this potatoes you will observe that when the pieces with the notch or the bird, birds will grow gradually in new green shoots and roots okay so this is propagation in potato on the other hand the potatoes which had no birds or notches will not grow as the other grows so this is an activity similarly if we take an example of bryophyllum this is a plant if birds are produced in the notches along the leaf margin of bryophyllum fall on the soil and develop new plants so this is the plant of bryophyllum if we observe the birds which are grown on the margin of a leaf of bryophyllum this picture shows it clearly the birds at the margin of the leaf when this leaf of bryophyllum falls on the soil it will get all the nutrients which it requires to grow and gradually we will be able to see the new individual plants grown at the sides of the leaf of bryophyllum this picture show it clearly when it falls on the soil that time it will get all the nutrients required to grow here also we can see so this is another activity wherein birds of bryophyllum plant when it falls on the soil develops new individual plant now let us study the next type of asexual reproduction and that is spore formation even in many simple multicellular organisms specific reproductive parts can be identified and here we will see it the thread like structures that develop on the bread they are the reproductive part and the next picture makes you clear about the thread like structures which develop on the bread here it is this way it will grow 
thread like structure this are called hypha when it is a single it is called hypha which is a filament like structure we can clearly see that the structure of these reproductive parts are like filaments right so it is hypha when to use plural of this we will use hyphae h y p h a e hyphae it is a plural form of hypha when there are filaments we will use the word hyphae so here we can observe the hyphae of the bread mold rhizopus but do you think that they are reproductive parts no they are not reproductive parts then where are reproductive parts the tiny blob on a stick a bulb like structure which is seen on the top of the filament they are involved in reproduction so the stick the filament is not involved in reproduction they are not reproductive parts what are the reproductive parts here the blob on a stick a bulb like structure that is involved in the reproduction and these bulb like structures are called sporangia what are they called sporangia which contain cells or spores so here we can see it clearly the bulb like structure they are called sporangia what do they contain they contain cells and that cells are known as spores here in this circle bulb like structure we can see the tiny dot type of structure and that dot type of structures are cells which are known as spores and what happens here spores gradually develop into new rhizopus individuals and these spores are covered by thick walls that protect them until they come into contact with another moist surface and can begin to grow so this spores are covered into thick wall of sporangia but when will it come out they are protected by the thick wall of sporangia when will it come out they will come out when they come into contact with another moist surface then only it will come out and will begin to grow and that way it will give new individual so this is spore formation let us see once again what it is the thread like structures which are hyphae they are developed on the bread which are rhizopus they are not reproductive parts but which are reproductive parts the blob like structure the bulb like structure are involved in the production and this bulb like structure are sporangia which contain spores they are cells and these cells spores are covered by thick walls of sporangia which protects them and it will come out when it come into contact with another moist surface and will begin to grow and it gives new rhizopus individuals so students we have discussed all the types of asexual reproduction which are fission then we have learned 
fragmentation, then regeneration, budding, vegetative propagation and spore formation. All the modes of reproduction which we have discussed so far, they allow new generation to be created from a single individual. Which means there is only one parent required to form new individuals and that is why this type of reproduction is known as asexual reproduction.